And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the minus 76 kilogram KGP British title. Please welcome, firstly, to the black corner from South East London, Jimmy Kelly. Jimmy Killick! And now please welcome to the white corner from Leicester, Charlie O'Neill! Charlie O'Neill. And ladies and gentlemen, this bout is for the minus 76 kilogram KGP British title and will be contested over three three minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly in the black corner, representing Warriors Gym in South East London, it's Jimmy the ring in the white corner. He's representing First Legion Jim in Leicester. It's Charlie O'Neill. And your referee for this one, Mr. Scott Robinson. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very, very excited commentator. Indeed, with me is Mr. Rob Cox and the K Kickboxing Grand Prix here in London. Beside myself, Rob, sweating already. What a show we've got tonight. We have got a fantastic show here, some great fights. The Road to One as well, heavyweight tournament. That's going to be uh, throwing right in that, I think. So in the black and gold shorts, we have Jimmy Killick from the Warriors Gym, and in the green and yellow, we have Charlie O'Neill from the First Legion Gym. Southpaw versus Orthodox, Robert. Yeah, it is, mate. Kickboxing rules, all our fights on this um, part of the card. 76 kilos for this one as well. Heavy right kick to the body, nice inside. Got to watch that left hand straight through the middle there, Rob. Yeah. Kill it. Trying to make space for it already, Charlie O'Neill. Charlie using that movement well, trying to... Move away, or oh, he's actually moving on to the power shot now. Referees, Mr. Scott Robinson, been around the game a very long time, and the man in the know, Peter Lowe, the MC for Ooh, Muay Thai Grand sharp. Prix. Right hand there from Jimmy Killick. Still having a look, really, aren't they? Yeah. Goes to Orthodox now, Good back sharp, to South Straight body shot, uh, straight shot to the body there from Killick as well. Just from what we've seen so far, just a little bit more of an itch in the power department from the uh, black corner, the black gloves. <clears throat> Switching in and out there, uh, the Charlie O'Neill, Southport to Orthodox and then back. If it's useful, do it, but if yeah, it's not... It, sometimes you yeah. see fighters that they can do it, but they, they yeah. kind of wonder why. They're, they're kind of doing it for the sake of it sometimes. Yeah, it's when they, <clears throat> and they confuse themselves. Yeah, uh, uh, so it's all they confuse us, so. that's the most yeah. important part. That's it. Good left kick, right hand counter there from Killick. Just stalking, but not putting enough pressure on there. Just letting him get away at times, Rob, you know? Yeah, good body kick there from uh, Charlie O'Neill. Starting to land some good leg kicks there. Killick, good right hand to the body. Yeah, this is it's, it's, it's not the first right to the body like that he's landed either. 
just for me, he looks like he's got a bit more edge in his power in his hands so far. Killick. Looks still early days, though, but... Looks confused, O'Neill, at times, yeah. doesn't he? Body language says it all, and there's frustration across his face. Trying to take that front leg out there with a low kick. Nice right, Sharp. good counter right back, though. Yeah, solid right counter right back there from Jimmy Killick. Landing heavy with that right kick to the leg. It's well conditioned, Killick, doesn't he? Yeah. He's been a fast pace, and yeah, a big lefty too, um, 76 kilos. Yeah, he is in the kickboxing uh, rules, isn't it, as yeah. well? He just coming up to the last sort of 30 seconds of this the first round. It's all been... Good body kick there from O'Neill, but Killick coming in with some big, powerful punches there. Chin's a little bit too high, isn't it, O'Neill? Yeah. Needs to be careful. Rain round seems to end a little bit early there, ladies and gentlemen. We've just joined us here on the road to one kickboxing Grand Prix and later on at Muay Thai Grand Prix. I'm very privileged to be uh, plonked in this seat next to you, Mr. No, Mr. Cox. always the privilege is all mine, mate. And a very, very exciting show indeed. Listening diligently to the corner is Charlie O'Neill. Here's some of the action then. Southport started off and just went in with the right hand to the body. Distance is a little bit out. But he started creeping forward, Rob, yeah. and started to get his distance with the That's boxing, right. didn't he? Killick. Bit of power, a bit more power for me from Killick we saw in that opening round. Yeah, just overreaching a little bit, isn't he, with the right yeah. hand and stuff. But I'm sure the experienced corner give him the information. It's an ease going to round number two then. Of these three, three minute rounds. Kickboxing Grand Prix. Round two. Round two. So it is a southpaw again at the start of this round. Uh, Charlie O'Neill in the red gloves. Corner telling him to hit and move, come in and out. Copy uh, wise Sometimes tactics against... That's uh, a nice counter left up, see it as he just walks in. Yeah. He's making space for counters here, uh, O'Neill, but not throwing the shot. That's right. Sharp left body kick that time from Killick. That was better from him. There, though. Seems to stay orthodox. Seems to work better for him, Rob. Yeah. Kill it. Taking centre ring, though, just looks the more menacing of the two, doesn't it? That's he? right, he does. Big left hook going close there from Killick. <coughs> nice knee there from uh, O'Brien. Yeah, pulling out oh, no, with I his knee say. a little bit in the... O'Brien is... <laughs> Might be his cousin. Yeah. Pulling out with his chin a little bit high for me. Just needs to edge himself forward, doesn't he, Killick? A little bit more. Yeah. Squeeze his fist. Punch you with an open hand there, Rob. Yeah. It just wouldn't have as much impact as it would if he squeezed his fist. Oh, he definitely right had counter. some impact with that left really hook. Really beautiful wobble to legs. Rubbery there. Big power punches now. He seized it. He saw it there. He seized on the opportunity Scott there. Robinson straight in there. He's going to have a look at... His legs were on there, weren't he? Yeah. There's oh, a big right overhand hand. right, another left hook there. Did say he pulls his chin in the air as he yeah. goes back. He kill it. Menacing now, smells blood in the water here, Robert. He needs to capitalise it though, sitting back again now. Oh, yeah. there's the left hook again. Good another left good hook left again. Smothering his own work there, well. Rob. Yeah. He's definitely taking this round, though. He, you know, he's, he's, he's done some real damage this round. Yeah, there's uh, a Killick. full minute as well to go. Another good right hand. Sharp sorry, knee left from him up, there. Sorry, right knee as well. <clears throat> Corner screaming at O'Neill to keep his hands up there. Oh, beautiful counter left hook. Nice left hook there for O'Neill. But this, this just doesn't seem to have the same venom, though, does it? No. Rather on the face of O'Neill as he gives ground each time and... Seeking solace in his own corner, but good counter there. Beautiful from counter the south shot. stance yeah. as well. Looking to plant his feet again here, Kilik. Could have missed the boat well. here, Kilik. Could have took him out here, yeah. I believe. Yeah, he, he did. He just took his foot off the gas, didn't he? Yeah. Needed more gusto in his work. Right Some hand and sharp left punches from O'Neill now. The difference is, though, he doesn't look 
like he's got the power to hurt Kalikla from what we've seen so far. Yeah. End of round two. Yeah, I mean, it was a good round, especially, obviously, for Killick. Um, took that handily. Did a bit of a shellacking at times, O'Neill, but it's shown heart and determination not to crumble under the uh, barrage of shots that came from the Warriors' yeah. gym. Protégé. Get some of the action then. Sweet left hook counter that Killick throws very well. And he backs off in a straight yeah. line, Rob. His chin's in That's the right. air. And that could spell disaster. That's a beautiful there's the shot. Left hook. That's the one that did the damage there. Really you nice, wasn't it? Back after that. Yeah, right hand left hook counter, beautiful. That was a lovely Ooh. shot. Set that little edge back through See the right hand. Him left there, but he was, you know, he was clearly hurt there, the way he staggered back. So the scene's been set for the last two rounds as uh, Killick, I believe, is handily ahead. I'm sure Rob agrees. Going to round number three then. Three. Three, 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 Come, comes down to this round. He needs something big here this he round. Needs I think he's uh, a knockout, O'Neal. I believe, or, or a knockdown at least. Yeah, a couple of knockdowns. But I don't think we've really seen that he's got the power to do that to no. hurt Killick. No. That's, that's the problem. I, mean, I could be proved wrong. I have been wrong many, many, many times yeah. in the past. Oh, right. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time, but just, just for me, you know. Kinnick's shown a solid chin as well, but he just, just doesn't seem to have that power that he can really get the respect or hurt. He to put uh, a couple Killick. of shots together, Killick. Yeah. Just come forward like that. Just edge himself forward a little bit more. This is And try not get caught with a counter yes. shot as well. Because Killick is dangerous on the counter. Looking for the right hand there. You know, waiting a little bit too long, yeah. Killick. He should be the more of aggress an aggressor in this. Because the indentations he makes when he throws his shots are evident to see. That's right. Good low kick there coming in with a couple of good punches after Killick. But, you know, it, you can probably say at this point, maybe does he need to do that, to be that aggressive, you know? Yeah. But, sharp knees there. He's a little bit worried about his fitness here, Killick. He's like yeah. reserving himself. That's right. It, 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 the mind boggles at Got times. Got caught with a knee there as yeah. well. Just looks a little bit scrappy there under that barrage from O'Neill. But O'Neill not following enough himself. He, he needs the he needs the big round more this round. You've got to give credit to O'Neill though, showing heart and yeah, he's showing determination. Oh, caught with he another right hand from Killick there. He switches off yeah. mentally, doesn't he? Yeah. When he's throwing his shots in, that's where the counters of Killick comes in. Another good right counter from Killick there. Shot and a little kick from him. Nice left up, good knee. Coming up to the last minute now of a more even round this one, I yeah, would say. Yeah, definitely more even round. Combination. So he's sn snatch this round here, possibly. He got just, through with a few sharp hands there. He's just giving jab. ground when he doesn't really That's need right. to. Pushing forward now, Killick. Nice push kick to the body, strong. Throws the left up. Nice kick to the body as well from Killick with the ever tough O'Neill. His right and left up. Just giving each bit of okey coke here, there. Robert Times, yeah. you know? Interesting to see how they've scored this. You know, you definitely have to give uh, Killick the second round, but yeah. Ooh, losing his balance there. Good shots here from Kill Killick coming back now. Now they're having a ding dong, and it's the final Both seconds. Planting their feet, big left hook from Killick. And there's there about the to end the final round. What a fight that was. You know, to be honest with you, you know. It's Three rounds, or two rounds to one, really. Yeah. For me, anyway. Not his unofficial uh, yammerings of what we say. But uh, got to give credit to Charlie O'Neill there. He come back Definitely. from a bit of a shellacking in the second round. And um, shown heart and, and determination. But I believe, in my opinion, it's Jimmy Killick. Oh, I would have to agree with that, Vinny. Here's some of the action. Yeah, more even round. A lot of boxing going on, wasn't the Rob? It's yeah. a lot of faking and kidology. And then the counters as he pulls back, Killick was very nice. We just seemed to lack a bit of gusto in that final round. Well, our well, MC, I think he, he, he was content to cruise. Yes, indeed. Yeah. 
O'Neill knew he needed a big round and he, he made it much more of a tougher round for him that round. Well, and here's the man in the know, Peter Lowe, with the decision. Looking very dapper in his cream suit. And... So, yeah, good oh. fight. Congratulations, both teams. But let's see. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please, for both these men after three excellent rounds of action. Rapturous applause, and justifiably so. And at the end of those three completed rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision, all in favour of your winner. In the black corner, Jimmy K. Yeah. Yeah, no real surprise there, was it? Jimmy K, you know. And ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for Killing, you'll look back at that, Rob, though, Ladies and, and have more to do one thing. Yeah, 100%. You know, never look true to fight if you learn from it, do you? That's very, very true. So we'll see then. And a happy, smiling face of Charlie O'Neill. Get a good account of himself. He was just killing, it was just too good on this. Our show promoter Phil Chu now presents the minus 76 kilogram KGP British title to your winner. One more time for Jimmy K. And a very sporting corner there, as you would expect from Charlie O'Neill in the first Legion Jim. Congratulations to everyone at the Warriors Jim. A great performance and a great night for me cutting my teeth on the kickboxing drum. <laughs> really enjoyable. I'm sure your teeth don't need a lot of pattern at this stage in your career. It's this.